Yesterday, the Region 6 RDC held their final statutory meeting for the year 2017, where several important issues were discussed. More details in this report. Drainage and irrigation in the region, as well as issues within the region's departments of education, were among the many issues that were highlighted and discussed at the region's final RDC meeting held yesterday. Various issues within the Education Department were raised by Vice Chairman of Region 6, Mr. Dennis DeRoop. The entire report basically is centered on one school. And I can tell you that many schools have the similar issue, uh, like Prime and Northern. I want to stand here and say that this RDC should demand much more from the Department of Education. Too many times we've been hearing excuses from the Department of Education. And very soon the MOD report will come out and that will be a bombshell. Because I have some information already on it. Uh, it is getting from bad to worse at the Department of Education. We are not getting value for money at the Department of Education. Monitoring of schools uh, become non-existent. I know the, the, the welfare, we have two very good welfare officers. I could stand here and say, um, Mr. Bakhtuar and Mr. Hussein is doing a very good job. We're getting good feedback from the welfare department. <coughs> However, the other areas, in terms of the officers, they're not going to schools. And every day a teacher will call you, they, they write so many things on reports and send it to the Department of Education. And they don't even read the report of the Department of Education. Councillor Zamal Hussein then rose to respond to the statements made by the Vice Chairman. I want to say that um, the Vice Chairman should, be, uh, should know better than me that the mandate of this committee is to ensure that we monitor the education delivery in the region. As of 2016, 95% of the recommendations that was presented to this RDC was implemented. Monitoring of education officer could only be done by the Red Oak. Also, the, oh, some of the recommendations that were presented to this RBC has not been fulfilled as yet. We ask for the increase in the amount of wel welfare officer within the region. And we have not seen this coming from we recommend to the RBC, but nothing has been done too. So as the chairman and the vice chairman and the REO, we should also be taking blame. The meeting took on a more cheerful note when regional chairman Mr. David Armagan suggested that a $50,000 bonus be given to the employees at State House. I know these girls at the State House have been working very hard here over the years, you know, providing food for everybody. And I just want to bring it to this um, this house here. If we can give them a fifty thousand dollars each as a as a bonus for oh, yes, Christmas. I discussed it to the area and she does have any uh, oh, yes. Yes. He also disclosed that a number of pumps are currently in operation in the 5274 and the Blackbush polder areas. The irrigation system has not been working. We had a problem with 5274 where we had to get money to seal all those pumps that farmers made. We have sealed them. We started that pump almost two weeks ago now. So irrigation water is now being pumped into the 5274. We intend in another couple of days, there is a mobile pump there that has a problem with the pumping system. The, the engineer from Georgia was here day before yesterday, and they were going to send somebody to fix that pump. So three pumps will become operable in the 52 <coughs> In Blackwish Polder, as I speak now, we're supposed to have four pumps operable there. Three pumps a couple of days ago, and one supposed to go back on yesterday afternoon. So we have enough irrigation water for both the polder, the front lands, and the 52 74, and we are making provision too for the crop group people. The RDC has recorded another successful year, with a majority of the works that were tabled to be done in 2017 being completed or nearing completion. The RDC, as of now, 
is looking forward to another successful year ahead with continued support from the public. Sasha Ramsaran reporting for Channel 8 News.